numbers being represented, the 100 average is the same in this case as uh, the median, the uh, 50, the 75, the 125, and the 150, uh, 125, and the 150. Okay, so now I think I put it underneath here. <laughs> let's go to data set B. So here's our two data sets again. I'm focused on, let's just open data set B this time. So now if I look at data set B, the average, if I took the average and added up data set B, I once again get to 100, which is the same as what we had for data set A. I'll just open both of these. So they come out the same. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of weird because the data sets are clearly different, right? These are different data sets, pretty dramatically different. So if I go to, to the min, I get to the same number. So it's like, whoa, is this like this? Am I, is this just the same numbers, the same data set? Let's take a look at quartile one. If I took quartile one for data set B versus data set A, I get the same number, which is like, that's weird. And then the median, if I look at the median, I get the same number, the middle point. And then if I look at the quartile three, again, I get the same number down here. And then if I look at the maximum, I get the same number. And if I was to then do the do a box plot because I got all the same numbers, you would think the box plot would basically look the same. So here's the box plot for data set B that we saw versus data set A. Now, if I look at the histograms, they, they do show us the difference, right? So the box plot isn't giving us because this is that kind of five numbers, but the histogram uh, does give us that because it gives us that kind of middle point. So the histogram gives us an idea. If I break it out in a histogram, I'm, I'm saying, well, these are substantially different when I think about these data sets in terms of how the data is spread around that middle point. So you can see here, you've got that middle point you know, looking looking more like a you know the the curve in the middle. It's popul more the data sets in the middle, and then they they spread out this way on the right hand side, uh, and the middle point, uh, or the average and and the median both coming out to be a 100. And here somewhere down here, although you get the same median and uh, uh, average, there is nothing in this middle point, and the data still over to the side, but we still get all the same numbers. We still get the same average. We still get the same, you know, middle number even and the quartiles. Now, this isn't likely that you're going to get all the same numbers, right? This is a pretty specially designed data set. So all of these numbers line up, but you can get the idea here. The idea is that these numbers, although quite important, useful to be calculating, don't always give you everything you need, especially with regards possibly to the spread of the data like around the center point which is going to be our point of focus when we get to things like uh, the standard deviation and the variance so these two box plots you can see are exactly the same for uh, data b and data a and then the histograms do give us that indication and so our focus is in on on this kind of concept right now with the spread which we want to be able to summarize it would be nice uh, numerically if we could as well as well as pictorially with like a histogram and so we'll get into some calculations based which are, will be the you know the standard deviation and the variance in future presentations